All right, hey, we're talking about the proximity power up. I'm going to, this is an update video to a previous video I made a couple of years ago. And so it's still relevant. And you're gonna see me use one tool in that video. I just wanted to add this on. So I'm gonna splice these together, edit them and uh, show you a couple more tools that you can use that are kind of cool. So, uh, all right, enjoy. So a cool little ethical trick that you can use to increase your proximity around your business from this, for instance, about a five mile radius to this, which is about a 20 mile radius, uh, somewhere in there. Uh, let's cover that right now. It's what I call the proximity power up, uh, using photos to increase your geo footprint and visibility. So here are the action items. You choose the photos that you want to be uploaded to the photos section. Uh, you use the same naming convention shown in stage one, photo optimization naming photos. And let me just show you that real quick so that you can see the naming convention here. Uh, let's see, we got company name, followed by your city, followed by your business category. And if you have more than one business category, always, always have your primary business category first and secondary, obviously second. And so if you have say three uh, business categories, you'll just cycle through them, adding a two, adding a three, adding a four, etc. Just keep cycling through them like that. So once you have your photos and you have them named like that, you go ahead and look on Google Maps and choose specific locations that are within a 20 mile radius of your business. And, uh, you know, I pick mom and pop shops, delis, boutiques, Starbucks locations, coffee shops, uh, whatever you want, just near there or those exact locations. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Once you choose a location, you copy the latitude and longitude data from Google Maps into a notepad. And I'll show you that process in a second. Then you go to Geo Imager, Geo IMGR, and you upload your photos. If you're on the free plan, you can do one at a time. You add the latitude and longitude from the uh, notepad that you took to each image. You download the images, and then you are ready to upload them to your GMB posts. So let me show you that in action. So let's pretend that my law firm is the center of Seattle, Washington. So my law firm is located right here. So let's say I wanted to uh, increase the range, increase my radius in a 20 mile radius. So let's just say that I'm going to look uh, somewhere over here. I'm going to find a point over here near Redmond to grab a latitude and longitude. Any old point will do. Maybe there's a Starbucks nearby. Here's a, a library. So we can just, just click there and maybe instead of uh, the library, I do it right next to the library. So you can see right here, here's the latitude and longitude. And you can also see it's right up here. And this is where you can simply highlight and copy and paste it. And then I'll just paste it into a document here. And you would repeat that process in the radius all around your business. So then you hop on over to this site here called GeoImager. And uh, you can read this page, find out more about it. It's been around for 10 years. This is a free service. You can upload one image at a time for five a day, or you can buy Pro, uh, which is $10 for a thousand images a month. I think you can also suggest your own price. So what I'm going to do is I already have my image properly named from the photo optimization naming convention. I'm just going to drag that in here and you can see that it's got the lat a latitude and longitude in here. Uh, it actually said no geotags found. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my latitude and longitude that I just found and boop, pop it in there. And so that's the latitude and longitude. Now it, it's already written right here. And uh, then you can give it a document name. So maybe it's the front desk of your law firm. Uh, front desk or reception desk or whatever you want to call it image description actually that that would go in the image description and then for the document name I want to put uh, personal injury lawyer just put your primary business category in the document name and then the next photo put your secondary business category and then the next photo put another business category if you have another one and then just cycle through them and repeat it over and over and over again now you just click write exif tags and then you click download and I want to show you something interesting with uh, GeoImager. So I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to head over to my desktop here. I'm going to pop open this file that I just downloaded. Uh, if you're in Windows, you can click Properties here, highlight it and click, click Properties, or you can right-click 
and uh, go to properties here. And I'm going to just look into the details. And it just says Abbott. And so something about GeoImager cuts off when you use this ampersand here for some reason. So if your company name happens to have an ampersand in it, you're going to have to actually type this in manually or find a software that allows you to write this in in bulk. Uh, so the title is Abbott and Costello, front desk, the subject, let's say personal injury attorney. And then you can also copy the personal injury attorney and put that in tags, put it in comments if you want. Uh, but I would just have the keyword, your primary business category, as well as your second. And, you know, in other images, just keep cycling through, as I said. And then now you can click apply. But I also want to show you, if you scroll down to the bottom, here is our latitude and longitude. So now this is geotagged, not right at our location, but in a location uh, within a radius. So that means if people are searching uh, in Redmond over here, or, or anywhere near this area, oops, near this area here, then uh, you're more likely to come up. And so the more images that you place around the map or in a radius around here with geotags around your business, the more likely that you will have higher visibility in those areas. So go for it and prosper. Another way to do this is uh, the Exifer, the E-X-I-F, <laughs> and uh, it's got uh, five at a time. I think it's unlimited. And uh, you can go premium for a small fee. So all you would do is upload anywhere from one to five photos and uh, do pretty much the same thing. Okay, so we got one. So then you would click the EXIF me. And you can see here are, it already has geodata. And so you would uh, be able to move this anywhere. Let's see if this works. Uh, Starbucks. Just want to see. Yeah, sure. Let's choose that one. Okay, so this one you can search by uh, address or location. And so, yeah, I would just uh, set that there. Geotags. And then you would uh, set map here. Let's see. Custom location 33, 570, 444, negative 1195. Yep, okay. So then you would set map and then go exifing. <laughs> okay, so then you download and it should be good. Uh, and if you wanted to check that, all you would do in Windows is, you know, open it in your downloads folder, right click, click on properties and scroll down and you should see it. Now the third tool that I use, and this is for Windows, I just wanted to show you this. It's pretty handy. Uh, it does not use Google Maps. It actually uses Bing Maps. It's called Geophoto, and I upgraded. I, it's just a few bucks to upgrade to the Pro version, and uh, you're able to geotag. Um, I can't remember what the limitations are to the free version, but uh, the Pro version is worth it. It's a one-time fee, and you have it. And what's really cool is it shows the, video, the uh, photos that are tagged on the map. And so, you know, I have a bunch tagged up here in Flagstaff, and, uh, you know, I have, you're able to show the folders that you want. And so let me just show you how this would work. So here you would, you'd click on this folder icon, you would add folder, browse your computer for the folder. This is again, only on Windows, it does not work on Mac. So you would add the folder. So I just chose a demo folder here and uh, you would load it up. And then you might want to go into the settings here and click on clear cache and reload photos. And it'll load it up. And if there are any geotagged, it zooms you in to that area. If there are not any geotag, then here's what you do. You click on this icon, pictures without geotag, and they show up here. Now, this only works for JPEG. By the way, any of these, uh, whether it's exifer.net or geoimager, the, you can't geotag PNG images. So you can only uh, geotag JPEG images. So what you would do is once you come in here and you click on the, the uh, no map listing, you would click it and then click the geotag button here, and then you would zoom in. Now, you can search by location, um, and let's say, but I'm not sure if you can actually search by this. Let's see how accurate this is. Okay, so it pulled one up for us. So what I typically do is, uh, Bing Maps is good, but it's not quite as good as Google, and so, 
and it, you know you could have like loading issues here so i'm just using my mouse to scroll in anyway what you would do is you know you zoom in and you look for places where you can tag the thing just like i show in geoimager and then uh, so let's say i wanted to tag it right here so you can also double click the thing and it zooms in there and then uh, once you have that done you click save and now it removes that image from the not geotagged folder. And so then you can just go on to the next one, scroll back out here, and then maybe move up a little bit, find another place. And so this is a really handy little app for Windows. I just wanted to show you that. That's all there is to it. Again, you can use this for free on GeoImager or do this for free on GeoImager or uh, on uh, the exifer.net. And uh, there you go. Then once you're done, with that, then you have your geotagged images here showing up on the map. And again, you might need to clear the cache to uh, to load it, so it should say eight. Yep, there we go. So there's one over here. Alrighty. Uh, so tag your images around your location to expand the proximity and the search proximity, and then you can use these photos uh, in you know upload them not only to your business profile, but you can also use these geotagged photos in your Google Business posts. It helps. I would recommend doing it. It helps expand the uh, search radius. All right, see you in the next video.